Tony Roddy. Well, how are you enjoying your little wine tour so far? Oh, I'm loving it. It's and what are, you, what are you hanging on to right now, dear? Oh, I've got to put the wine and put on to me. <laughs> it's amazing what you find around these little places. I mean, the Clear Valley's got vineyards and wineries just all over the show. And um, this little gem popped up on um, Wiki. And I thought, well, hey, we've got um, Pike's beer and they do wine. So Jude's been next door and she's done her wine purchase. So yes. she's happy. Yep. And also, we're eating a beautiful uh, Reuben sandwich, which we haven't had for such a long time. So, um, yeah, there's some little gems. This, this place here has been around since about, I don't know, the 1880s something. And I said, well, so what, the beer's a, a new thing? Well, notice that sign behind Judy? That says Pike and Cos Oak Bank Beer. And it's been around about the same time. So, just incredible. So, enjoy these little gems. We'll show you a little bit more around Pike. And the reason I came here for Pike is because I'm a fisherman. And I like a fisher. <laughs> Where's the fish? <laughs> but the beer's good and Jude's tasted the wine. It's yep. lovely. So cheers. Cheers. To Clear Valley. All right, getting a bit long in the day. I suppose that's what happens when you're a designated driver when you go around vineyards. Um, although I did sample a little, uh, little paddle there at Pikes, it was quite nice. Jude helped me with the rest of it. Um, the next port of call has been Hill River Clear Valley Estate, I think it is. No, it's the Hill River Clear Estate. Nice little spot to call into. Got some lovely vineyards around. They do uh, a few uh, fortified wines. Jude's found a, a Gertz, it's quite nice. But uh, out here you can uh, come out and sit outside and enjoy a nice little uh, a little lake, which is good. So uh, yeah, I think we're done for the day. It's been a uh, oh, pretty exhausting day, isn't it? So I look forward to going back and putting my feet up. So uh, thank you for uh, following us through the uh, the the clear wine valley region i think we've got one more little trip to do tomorrow and uh we might mix it up with a, a bit of a, a nice uh, historic little area um, until then keep following push that like subscribe button Well, I suppose you couldn't leave the Clear Valley without getting a clear shot of the valley. Um, we're, we're up over this way here somewhere at Farrell Flats and uh, done our little loop around. We're going to go back there tonight. And then tomorrow, I think we're going to go uh, over to the right a little bit more over this way behind me to uh, Mintaro. I think I mentioned a few times about, uh, especially in the church, I think it was, the floor was done with uh, a Mintaro slate. Um, there was another couple of build. Oh, I think it was, yeah, I can't remember now. No, I didn't drink too much. <laughs> but uh, yeah, I'm the designated driver, remember? So, uh, but yeah, lovely green pastures. It's beautiful. It's very nice. It's been, uh, been a nice little day today. Quite exhausted, but uh, looking forward to yeah, heading back to Farrell Flats and uh, having a nice quiet one over there. Catch you soon. I don't know whether. This is worthy of any news, but just what we've been doing, what have we been up to? We were in uh, Farrell Flats, had a great time there, tootled down to Saddleworth. We liked Saddleworth because there was a little sports oval there and uh, it had uh, power, uh, showers, water, and it was only 25 bucks, so great value. So we called in there. Jude did a lot of uh, work and editing um, because we had the power and um, yeah, just relaxed. And then we left there this morning, come on down to another nice little quiet town. There's no power here, but we do have a little bit of water available. We've got toilets, it's at uh, Ta Li. So uh, good little uh, little stop over on the way down. It was only a uh, half an hour drive from Saddleworth. So uh, we've been in tasted the local pies and um, yeah, just rested up again. And then um, yeah, tomorrow we'll move on to the next one. 
so to keep you in touch. I'm battling out of my depth here, I think. <laughs> Mainly because uh, I wasn't a big uh, movie buff uh, or serial buff with uh, this one here, but some of you might recognize the old windmill in the background here and the bathtub. Jude's got some photos, uh, hopefully a bit clearer than my mug being in the way. But uh, McLeod's daughters. I'm in a, a little town here called um, Freeling. Or Free yeah, Freeling? Freelings. And. Um, yeah, I just noticed uh, on Wikicamps it had quite a few little uh, points of interest that were based around the uh, production of uh, McLeod's Daughters. I don't know whether I'll get to all of them. There's a, a big amount of roadworks going down here and I think maybe the old, our garage is down there and I might miss it. But anyway, yeah, rundown. McLeod's Daughters, it ran for eight seasons between 2001 and 2009. I think it had uh, 224 episodes. And it was based on, I think, two sisters going back to some farm or something over in Drover's Run, I think that was called. So I think it was pretty much all, well, the town was all fictional. Um, but yeah, this was apparently a scene where uh, they had a, a bathtub <laughs> and a windmill, and it was um, meant to be a nice, uh, relaxing sort of part. But what I can't understand is, yeah, well, the town's right there, and it's virtually circumnavigated by this road. So uh, yeah, it's quite funny. Yeah, it wouldn't be exactly the nice sort of outdoor country setting that you would have expected for a uh, for a bathtub scene. But uh, yeah, I suppose it's just one of those things you can tick off your list. <laughs> tick. <laughs> All right. Let's say let's see if we can find a little bit more memorabilia. But uh, if not, well, we've seen this bit. Well, what a lovely stroll around this beautiful little town of Freeling. Um, another piece of the jigsaw. This apparently is the garage that was used in the uh, in the scenes, I believe, of McLeod's daughters. I could be completely wrong, but uh, I'm following my little wiki camp icons, and uh, here it is. Drew says she wants to go and watch all 224 episodes now. <laughs> Help me! <laughs> Uh, just a great little uh, showground there. Um, and sports. Very interesting. Um, the north wall where the. Um, start again. Uh, had a little trip into Clare. Had another little trip over into the the, the Martinvale. Uh, Martindale. Martindale. Sadly, though, uh, he was only in it for uh, about ten years, I believe. In. Um, 18, uh, 1975, no, hang on, boom, 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 oh, it up. Another vineyard, oh dear, hang on, I'll stuff that one up, and I try again. Has crypts. This crypt was built. Well, here we go, another piece of the jigsaw puzzle. McLeod's daughters, I believe this garage had something to do with it. I'm sorry, I'm, as I say, out of my league with this one, and my phone just...